Hi, I'm Lloyd Pye, and this is the Star Child skull that I'm holding. The skull is an amazing artifact that was found in about 1930. It is a bone skull, real true bone skull, but all the bone in it is half as thick as normal, weighs half as much, and yet incredibly is two or three times as hard. So that in and of itself is unique, but as you can see, physiologically it is unlike any human skull in all of its parts. For example, it's missing the knot at the back of the head that we all have called the Indian, completely missing it. Very flat back here, but convoluted, so it wasn't cradle boarded. Its neck is about half the size of a human's neck. Its cheek muscles, the muscles that hold its cheekbones together, are about half the size. Normal human would be up here about half the size. It had a very, very small lower face, very shallow eye sockets, eyes that would be placed in the middle of the nose and bulging off rather than at the top of the nose. In every way you can think of, this skull is not human in either its design or in its DNA. When we tried to recover its DNA, we found that its mitochondrial DNA recovered very easily, meaning that its mother is human, but its nuclear DNA, which contains the DNA of its mother and its father, was not able to be recovered in six attempts. So that tells us its DNA, its nuclear DNA, is not entirely human. So we think we have in this skull the first bona fide provable evidence of life from beyond Earth.